Hey guys and what's up and welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, winter is finally here. But, you know, it is inevitable. So it's time to actually start getting ready to, you know, get ready for the winter cold weather and the nasty snow and all. So I'm gonna take you guys through my winter fall process, right? All the things I do to make sure I am ready for winter. So come along with me and let's go through this day. But first things first, we need to get the lawn, give it a final mow because right now it looks a little bit, it had to be too high, right? I wanna kinda give it a little bit of a mow, kinda set it at number three, make sure that it is, you know, gonna be that way, well, you know, it's all set and ready for the winter. So one of the steps I had taken prior is to make sure that I put fertilizer inside of it, you know, seed and fertilize, you wanna do that at the end of the season so that way it stores a lot of nitrogen inside of the soil and when um, spring comes along next year it's gonna blossom right you're gonna see everything just you know all the seeds that you planted this year everything's gonna just stay dormant for now and then when spring comes around next year when there's lots of rain and the weather gets nicer again it's all gonna start to germinate and blossom and then you're gonna get that nice beautiful plush lawn so I'm gonna give my lawn the final mow for the season. So let's go get, let's go out there and let's go get the lawn mower. So I uh, use my Ryobi battery powered lawn mower. I got this as a gift, so I kind of like it. It's very, it's just lots of battery in. It. It's battery powered, so no need for cords or gasoline and all that kind of stuff. So I'll get that bad boy out and get mowing. All right, now we're done with um, taking care of the lawn. We've mowed the lawn, we've trimmed, we've edged it, we've trimmed it, and it's all good to go. So next thing now, we need to start covering up all the outdoor furnitures and uh, all like the AC condensers and all that stuff. We need to take care of that as well. But first things first, we need to move all of the summer stuff, right? So I need to move things like, uh, if we look over here, I have things like my, uh, my uh, lawn fertilizer, seed, and all that kind of stuff, my spreader, all that kind of stuff, right? All the stuff that are all summer related. Now we need to transfer them over to the top and bring the winter stuff to the bottom. So that's where I store all of my covers, my furniture, my AC condenser unit as well. So. I kind of keep them up top, away from every other thing, but now it's that season, so I'm going to bring everything back down. So, let's go. Alright, now we are done with uh, mowing the lawn, trimming and edging out the lawn as well. We've also wrapped up all of the outdoor furniture so the barbecue the outdoor chairs make sure those are all nice and covered up same thing with your ac condenser if you have an ac unit you want to cover all of those units trust me you might not think those things are you know what it what they're really for outdoors but covering those things up kind of prolongs their life and also makes it kind of stay in the same condition you know same color condition for a long time right because uh, sun, weather, elements, they tend to discolor stuff, right? So you better off just doing all of that stuff and protecting your investment. Now, the next thing we wanna do now is to make sure that we get our winter tires on. 
One of the things I did when I was getting winter tires was to make sure I get a rim and a tire uh, set combo. So that way I get to change my rims myself. So changing tires is very easy, right? You can save yourself that 120 bucks. It takes about 30 minutes to swap all four tires. So I'm gonna do that, get my car ready for winter. Now that the weather is nice and I can stay outside as, I, as long as I need to without, you know, getting the frostbite and all that stuff. So just gonna get started on that and uh, let's go. All right, now I am done swapping out the tires or the rim, the tire and the rims on the car. One of the things I like to do is to kind of get the tire ready for next season as well. So I'm gonna wash it, clean it, and then do a tire rotation. So I'm, because my car uses a different set of uh, tire size on the front and a different set on the back, I can do a rotation front and back. For most people that have like a uh, the same set of tire across all the, I mean, across all four, you're supposed to swap the, rotate the two front tires to the back and then the two back ones to the front for your next season. So that way you get that even wear of the tire. But because I have different sizes on the front and on the back, my only option is to be able to swap it between the left and the right of both front and the back. So I wash the tire, get it all prepped up, and then I swap their positions when I'm about to store them. So that way next season, it's already rotated. Just swap it in. And then when I bring it down, I install it as indicated on my tire bag. So there's no room for confusion. All right, let's get started. So next thing next is to kind of get rearrange my tools as well in terms of like my snow shovel, my ice breakers and all the winter stuff and then kind of get rid of all my fan, you know, the brush, the rakes and all that stuff. So this is typically what I call my easy to reach, frequently used section. So I put, you know, tools for the season and then leave right there, you see the, the packer right there then there's the broom the rake and then over here is what i call the really used section up above there right there yeah right there so i put the i put things that i don't normally use much right so a lot of my tools i really use or i wouldn't use for the season that kind of go up there because that place is a little bit more kind of out of sight difficult to reach so I'm gonna do a trade off now another thing I make sure to do every season is to make sure I get my underground sprinklers blown out I do have underground sprinklers installed in my house which waters my lawn every season but one of the downsides is you have to actually get it blown out every season for this you need a compressor. Well, a high powered compressor to be able to blow through the system and clear the water out. If you don't do this, when winter comes around and we get into the negative degree or negative temperature, then your pipes has, you know, it's, it has a tendency to actually get frozen. And when, when summer comes around, because this pipe has frozen and water expands, when it freezes up, it breaks the pipe. When fall comes around, now you're gonna have a broken pipe and water leaking on the ground. To prevent this, you gotta make sure that you blow your underground sprinklers if you have one. Make sure to do it soon enough because everyone wait, tends to wait till the last minute and then you get the old uh, winter rush. So for me, I did get a professional to come in 
to blow out the sprinklers using a compressor and uh, yeah blow it out and um, while doing that make sure to turn off your sprinkler controller in my case I do have a smart uh, sprinkler controller so I'm able to just turn it into a standby mode and then when next year comes around I'm just gonna you know take it out of standby mode and it continues just like that no nothing to remember I don't have to worry about nothing at all all right let's go on to the next step now after I'm done with blowing out my sprinklers I'm gonna pull out my ladder and I need to do all the electrical stuff in this case I do have LED strips installed around my house both the front and the back which I use for LED I mean during the Christmas season for LED effects and you know that cool light flashing and all I only use this once once a year so I don't have to turn it on very often so I use this opportunity to actually turn the lights on go around all of them make sure that they're all good to go in this case apparently one of the strip segments has come loose because they are deceiving that section has come loose and um, some of the LED strips are starting to die out I'm gonna go to that section replace that particular segment and then fix it and then call it good now while I still have my ladder outside I want to make sure that I'm gonna use this opportunity to check my security cameras as well I do have a variety of uh, security cameras ranging from wireless cameras to wired cameras to PoE enabled cameras you want to make sure that uh, I'm gonna make sure that I tied you know screw them in check all the screws the bolts and make sure that they are all still there because where I stay we are experienced severe wind gust so the wind is enough to throw or flip big objects the one year it actually did take my carry my barbecue from my deck and took it all the way to the road hence why I strapped it down this year using tight using straps right so I would also make sure that I, all my security cameras tie them down I do have a bunch of wise cameras Bosch cameras as well kind of a mixed up of different security cameras that I'm testing right now so I just use this opportunity to test them out make sure they're all properly aimed towards the direction I need them to focus on and uh, call it good so one of the biggest thing is um, my garage has suffered from serious neglect because I mean I've been so super busy over the past couple of weeks that uh, things have kind of started to get dumped into, into the garage. I hate this. I hate it. I don't like things laying around the garage. I mean, if we look over here, you kind of see that I have like a bunch of, sh you know, ladders all over the place, boxes, you know, things just dumped around. So it's kind of like it's starting to turn into a dump site and this is really nasty. This is horrible. I definitely need to fix this. So this pretty much concludes my winter fall preparation routine. If you do like this video, please uh, do like it subscribe share and um if you have recommendations suggestions or things you think we could improve on please do leave it down in the comment section also while you're on my channel uh feel free to check out some of the other videos in our playlist like the uh, office makeover we did for a friend and also there's also an office store video as well check it out let me know what you think in the comment section as well and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace